There is a harshness to this country. So my wife and I, we came to this part of the world around 30 years ago in 1994. And that was a time where, you know, there was very little knowledge of Christ in this part of the world. You have got to have a fire in your home or it will be too cold to live. For this culture, they actually almost have a worship of fire. For many years, this was a communist country. And when that fell apart, not only was food hard to come by, but the local currency to the dollar, the exchange went from like 40 to one to 1,200 to one in a very short period of time. People that thought they had a fair amount of money saved up, all of a sudden they didn't have anything. Things were, were pretty hard. I think that drove a lot of them to just a bit of despair. A lot of men began to drink and became alcoholics. It was easier just to drink. And alcohol was so cheap. I don't think any of the, the folks that end up becoming alcoholics do it because they love the taste. There's something going on inside them, you know, that they're, medica they're self-medicating to, really. The young men especially began drinking when they are fifth and sixth grade. We wanted to find some way to reach these kids before they went down the path of their forefathers. When our kids were smaller, we had put a, a little cement court basketball goal in our yard, and we had neighbor kids over like day and night. They would come over in the middle of winter, it would be 30 below, and they'd be out there playing basketball. And I'd invite them in, and we'd have hot chocolate, we'd have tea, they'd warm up their hands, rub them hard, and they were back at it again. Next team was up. We realized if we could build a gym rather than just the cement court in our backyard, we could start to work with young people. To see them being engaged in activities that maybe keep them away from the alcohol. So we really had that vision. We're asking God, someday, some way, could you give us this opportunity to build a gym here in this town? And it was a 10-year prayer, and in 2019, God answered it. I mean, it's amazing what God has done in their lives and, and through them. We want to see locals coming up and taking hold and going forward. You know, we, we'd like to get to the point where we're not needed anymore. Honor came to us really early when we got it open, actually got the fitness part of the gym open. Anud became a Christian as a young person himself in the capital. And when he saw what we're doing at the gym here, he said, I have that same opportunity to pour into young people like people poured into me. <laughs> Honor 
2012 онд Camps Crusade-ийн Made Complete болсон. Бурх нэг тэнж мэдээг үтгээгүй. Зүгээр л хамт байх юм. Тэнд залуучтай байх нь надад ихлээ гой байсан. Үр сууж яг сүүлийн өдөр нь яг бурх надад ярьж байгаа би мэдсэн. Тэгээд би бурханд итгэх юм бол юу ч алдахгүй байна. Харин би бүхнийг олж явах юм байна гэдэг тэр өдөр ойлгосон. Манай орн өтөх болохоор өсөр насны залуучууд чөлөө цэгээ өнгөрөх газар аюу ховор за тэгээд дээрэс нь утас за тэгээд болохгүй зүйлс нь урууд төрөх одоо яг миний үйлчлэж байгаа юм спорт за энэ цуглааны хувьд яг нь орн нутгтай үнэхээр нөлөөтэй бас тэгээд бид нар мэдээж хэрэгс чинь итгэх юм бас ажилт өгчөөс бурхны хайрыг бүтэлх тийм зорилготой бибэлтэр бич бичгцэн байгаа те харах дуу чинь юм шиг өнгөрч ирэв цаа шин болсон юм аа залуучуудтай юу хэцаадаг те та чи бурханд итгсэн бол ул чиний хуу чим сайлт юм өнгөрч байгаа гэхдээ яг тэдний юм гараад а бурхны одоо надад өгсөн тэр хайрыг тэр хүмүүс мэдрүүлгээ өгсөдөг what our dream what our desire is is that people are seeing that there's a there's another way 